Hi, I'm Audrey LaFaver and I am a Mary Kay Independent Beauty Consultant and today I want to talk about organizing your samples in the Mary Kay sample carrier that you can get on MK Connections. So let me show you mine here. I got this for $39 and at first I didn't think it was going to work out for me. It just didn't seem like it was big enough to hold enough samples until I got the hang of how to actually pack it right. Uh, when you order it from MK Connections, they do have a photo and they have a little bit of an explanation there on the best ways to pack it. But it's easier if somebody's showing it to you. And I personally could not find too many videos on this. So I wanted to shoot a video for you today showing you how I get the best use of my sample carrier. Okay, so here's my Mary Kay sample carrier. Of course, it's uh, the letters are upside down because I'm, I'm uh, videoing upside down here. But um, you'll see here in the front, you've got a clear cover. I put the current lookbook in mine, um, and or you don't have to put anything. You can actually fit more in here than you think you can. I just put one lookbook in here. I don't like to stretch mine out too much. Um, you'll notice it has a nice carry handle here that you can take with you if you want to just carry this by yourself. I prefer to put mine in my tote. And it has a very good sturdy zipper on it uh, with a lot of uh, room to really expand this, this uh, carrier out to, to pack a lot of stuff. So I'm going to open it up and your very front cover here you have um, a place where I put my color cards. I have one of each color card. Actually I'm out of one of them now. Um, I put an extra lookbook. I have two of my customer profile cards and I have two of my order forms in here, okay? You could fit more. It's, it's Once it loosens up some, the more you use it, the more these pockets are gonna loosen up, stretch out, and you can fit more, okay? But I found that was more than sufficient for me because I don't want it to be too heavy, okay? And you can always just restock at the end of the night or the end of the week, okay? Now the next thing you'll see here, I have my sample of my foundations. Now this is the old foundation. We've got the new TimeWise 3D coming out, but it's still the same premise. I've separated them and I have two of each color. And that's pretty much the, my general rule for my sample carrier is I just keep two of everything, okay? Over here, I have some more uh, foundation samples and these zippers are very sturdy, very easy to use. Here you'll see I have some dough applicators and I have some sponge applicators. I give these to people when I hand out my color cards so it's easy for them to use the eyeshadow and the lipstick that comes on the color card. So I keep these here. Next I have my blushes and I have two of each color and I basically stagger them to make sure I see one of each color through my pocket window so it's really easy for me to access uh, when people ask me for a sample of blush. All right, here are my eyeshadows, and we have a lot of eyeshadows at Mary Kay, which is awesome. Uh, and the good thing is you've got lots of room in your sample carrier to carry two of each color, and that's just what I do. Um, now, some of these smaller pockets like you see here, you'll see on MK Connections that they reference that you can fit um, your eyeshadow samples in here. I found that very difficult on some of these small pockets at the bottom. The first pocket was pretty easy. You just have to make sure that when you put in your eyeshadow samples that you really tuck them all the way into the crevice of that pocket and put them down and then kind of pull out the zipper there to make sure it's tucked in and close it. Don't force it because you don't want to break your zipper. So in these smaller ones like this, I decided to use them for, for things like I have two of each color of my eyeliner samples. Here's more eyeshadow. I have a few of my mascara samples here of the Ultimate Mascara. And you can get all of these things on section two. This one's completely empty. I haven't even filled it yet. So you've got a lot of room in here. Um, here I've got two of each color of my lip liner samples and some uh, True Dimensions lipstick samples. Okay, here I have some lip gloss samples. And when I order my uh, lipstick and lip gloss samples, I, stip I typically stick to the most popular colors. But you can definitely order um, one of everything if you want. That's what I do with my eyeshadows. I have one of every single color. Um, to make sure that I'm able to uh, help ladies who um, just have a different preference on the way they want their eyes, eyes to look. Now he, back here I have two samples of my microdermabrasion and two samples of my facial peel. And back here are the samples of the TimeWise skincare collection. 
okay? And I actually use these at my parties. Um, I do not use uh, full-size products um, at my beauty experiences. I actually use these samples, and when I open them up, these actually are better than just for one use. So there's enough in here where they can actually put them in a little baggie, and I actually have little baggies that I sit next to them at our skincare parties because only about half of this is necessary for uh, the, the skincare trays when you're doing the parties. So they can get a whole nother use out of these samples. You'll see I've got the, uh, it, it comes with the cleanser, your day cream, your night cream, and your eye cream. And you can get these on section two. And most of, uh, most of the ladies love it because they get another, um, they get another dose out of these uh, to do their skincare that night, maybe after the party or the next day. And I have them in both the, um, the uh, combination oily and the normal dry. And you'll see that I keep three of each, okay? And I have those folded in my back cover there, okay? So like I said, this is really going to stretch out as you use it more. And I was very worried at first. I thought I was disappointed. I thought I was going to return it because I felt like I just couldn't fit anything in it. And after about a week, these pockets really started stretching out. I got the hang of it. And of course, my biggest mistake at first was trying to fit too much in it. You don't need to have your entire sample inventory in your carrier, okay? Just a couple of each thing in here is more than enough, and, um, and you can always refill it. So I hope you found that helpful. Uh, if you have any questions, you can always leave comments down below. And thanks for joining me here on my BR Beauty Girl channel.